over to you. All right, thank you. Well, what will it take to end the cycle of guns and violence in our city? One Brooklyn councilman has an idea. In fact, take a look over there in our studio. You'll see what, what that idea is. It, it is a monument that you will see on sidewalks in hopes of, well, creating change. Joining us this morning, Councilman Robert Cornegie, also joining us this morning, the CEO of Project Regeneration, Ty Kuttner, and the Brooklyn teenager, Zaniya Middleton. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Councilman, I'll start with you. There are people, the people that are out on the streets shooting people, they don't respect their laws, they don't respect each other, they don't respect their children, they don't respect anybody. Why will they respect that? Well, we believe that um, it's, it, we live in a visual society, and we believe that if you can change uh, people's mindset by really putting something in their face, that this is a human being, that there are lives lost, that there are families affected, and constantly. So we usually do this, you know, as a memorial, mm -hmm. but it doesn't remain there. So it doesn't allow people to resign themselves with their own feelings to that monument. So people uh, who uh, are at risk of being shot or who are shooters do these things in a split second. We, we, we believe that a split second of consciousness can change the trajectory of an act even taking place. You believe that people are being desensitized to without this. Without question. We live, we live in a society where the normal, the, the abnormal has actually become the normal, and we need to get back to center and get back to what's normal behavior. Killing isn't normal. Yeah, it isn't. Ty, I want to turn to you for a second yes. because we were looking at these, at these monuments. And you know they don't have faces on them, and they're just sort of silhouettes. But there's a monument for your cousin. Yes. You know that face. You know that story. Yes. Uh, what does it feel like for you to? What will it be like for you to walk by the spot where your cousin was killed and to see a silhouette there? Well, it's tough because you know the story starts, you know, with with us being kids and growing up together as teenagers, and if the story ends with this. You know, it's very tough, but it's, it's one of those things where, um, you know, people need to realize that there was a story there and how that story ended. And if they knew the story, maybe they wouldn't go down that same path. Do you think people, like, just forget someone's killed, they, they mourn, and then it's just gone and they just move on? Is that what happens? I think, I think human nature and uh, us as humans, we have to get over things in order for us to move on. So that's a part of us that it, we have to get, get over those things, but we can't allow that getting over that to, to make us get into more trouble and more bad situations. You're trying to make some change in your community. Project Regeneration, what is it exactly? Yes, Project Regeneration is an organization where we sell street cleaning services to homeowners in the neighborhood uh, and we hire teenagers to do the work. So that allows them to earn money, which is one of the issues why kids get into bad trouble, and we also develop them. So uh, it allows the homeowners in the area to help develop the teenagers in the area. Sanaya, you are one of the foot soldiers, right? Yes, I am. So you're, how old are you? 16, 17. So you're 17 years old, you could be doing this, but instead you're doing that. You're, yeah. you're helping to, to clean up the streets. Yeah. What's it feel like for you to, to have a job and to be out there doing a positive thing? Well, it's, it's good because we're helping everybody that's in the neighborhood. That's our goal. That's one of our missions. But it's also happy because we're a family. Like, we're just not a job. The foot soldiers as a family, we unite. We do a lot of things. So they help us martial art train, academic <laughs> support, all this stuff. So it, 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 seems, it seems like a really positive yeah. thing, and it seems like, like you, you really enjoy being a part of it. Yeah, I do. You know, we're looking at a picture now of the actual uh, creation of these monuments that we have back here in Councilman. How many of these things are going up? When are we going to start seeing them? Uh, oh, very shortly, we have um, uh, a day against violence and violence awareness in Vaughan King Park on the 20th. Uh, where we'll have resources, because we realize that you can, you can roll these out, but in and of themselves, they're not going to impact the community positively. So we have resources, a resource fair, basically for uh, uh, potential victims and shooters. So th there'll be, uh, we'll have rap battles, we'll have all kinds of different things right. that it, are it available. Is, it isn't just, it is not just the, this is a part of a bigger, Absolutely. bigger picture. And, it, and I think the back end to this, I do want to say that we are planning on GIS mapping these violent acts across the city by them being plotted on a map uh, by the silhouettes with the opportunity for us to uh, talk with the leading epidemiologists yeah. about violence 
and really look at the root causes and the conditions that were created that created every single one of these incidences. Yeah, and gotta, I believe anecdotally that they're similar. Yeah, we, we, have, we have to get beyond the surface to really solve this problem. Absolutely. I want to thank you all for coming in this morning. And, and I should mention that, you know, this month, June, it is anti-violence month here on PIX, anti-gun violence month. And you see the silhouettes. Lives are being lost out there in this station is committed to ending it. And we appreciate all of you for taking the time out to, uh, to speak with us. And again, as you all also try to end it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Time now is 741 and coming up.